be entirely honest, there's nothing new nestled within any particular aspect of Watch Dogs. Though the now famous E3 2012 trailer sure made it look that way, and the ensuing hype train virtually guaranteed that no matter the quality of Watch Dogs, it would prove a disappointment to many. But that doesn't mean that when taken as a whole, as a single body of work, that Watch Dogs doesn't offer anything new, and it certainly doesn't mean it's a bad game. <laughs> So as stated, there's nothing new to any particular aspect of Watch Dogs, but that's not to say that there's anything bad about its variety of gameplay modes. The driving is unrealistic, but extremely entertaining. The shooting is, well, it's max pain free, but there's nothing wrong with that, and the slow mode feels integrated rather than packed on. The hacking interface is pretty effective at meeting its mark when activating bridges, barriers, and stoplights during a car chase, and finds its best use during stealth missions, serving as a bridge from one hackable device to the next, removing the need, in many cases, for Aiden Pierce, the protagonist, to do anything more than casually stand across the street from the mission area and stare at his phone like some sort of postmodern superhero. Oh, and speaking of hacks, this is always fun. And speaking of postmodern superheroes, check out this pants on head insanity. I'm the plot? I mean, it's it's there. There's a colorful supporting cast that- Oh shit, what's up girl with the dragon tattoo? How you doing? Nice booby art. And then there are the graphics, which are not a popular topic to linger on for the purposes of review, but I'm gonna do just that. Because Watch Dogs made me go for a fucking virtual walk, and I feel like that's a big deal for some reason. I rarely go for walks in real life. I mean, I'll go for a run, or a 2 a.m. post bar stumble, but never just a walk. But I went for a walk in Watch Dogs, and I can show you why. Look at this! This is graphics taking immersion to the next level. It's all the little details. That the ground remains relatively dry when the rain starts, but as time passes it becomes completely soaked. Even if it's at an unrealistic rate, that Aiden's coat dries off when he goes inside. The way the wind moves the trees. You just want to take it all in. Take it slow. Which I never do in real life, much less a game. For contrast, here's how I move through a town on Assassin's Creed. And if you find yourself strolling down the streets of Chicago and Watch Dogs, you'll probably take out your phone for a little thievery and light voyeurism. Then as time passes, you'll start doing some of these privacy invasion side missions, which would be better represented if they were titled Be a Weirdo for No Reason, as they let you look into the web and security cameras of Chicago's citizenry. Sometimes it's an adorable moment between father and daughter. And fuck you in your adorable life, I'm pilfering your bank account. And sometimes it's a messed up naked chick with a handgun having sex. Is this, is this sex? I don't, I don't know how sex works. And it's this voyeurism, this window into the lives of a virtual world's denizens, that along with the extraordinarily impressive graphics, effects, animations, and sounds, give life to Watch Dogs Chicago. From something as simple as a randomly generated overview of an NPC's life, to this, the pervasive voyeurism, a less than subtle aspect of both the game and its marketing, casts you, the player, as the watcher. The all-seeing, pretty fucking creepy when you think about it, I of this game world. And this led me to two fairly profound virtual experiences. Enjoying a walk, and feeling like a complete weirdo for looking into the lives of a bunch of people that don't exist. If you have 60 bucks, can forgive an accurate trailer and the hype machine that grew in its wake, you should buy Watch Dogs right now. You'll find yourself completely satisfied. Ignore everything you've ever heard about it, and approach it less like a sandbox title and more like sci-fi Assassin's Creed with cars, and you'll find yourself having one of the better video game experiences of the past eight years, and what is certainly the best next-gen experience yet.